Listener discretion advised. The content may be offensive. Ah,、uh, there is always yet another post from yet another black male, seeming to be lamenting what they see as a fact that、um, they're talking about black women being single. They so many of them when they. Speak on this. They sound like they are scared for the black woman that she's gonna, and they say it. She's oh, you're gonna end up old and alone in a house with thirty cats. Well, you know what? Thirty cats can be a hell of a lot better companions than one booger man. Okay. Some people don't want companionship. Perhaps because they've grown up in dysfunctional homes, they've seen their parents not get along, and they are triggered by violence, you know, shouting, arguments, and oftentimes in relationships. Because let's face it, all relationships are not ideal, and usually they are like great in the honeymoon、uh, stage. Right, but then the more you become familiar, then suddenly you can't stand him or her because they fart, or you know they have some kind of habits that they can't seem to break, and you can't stand. Although initially you never appeared to have noticed any of those habits, so some people are better alone, and also. It's as though many people get together, and the, it seems as though the the、um, objective is to be married, or at least at least no, even before married, for most of you, is to have children. Many of you have children without the benefit or security of the ring and the situation, not just a situationship, but matrimonial, you know,、uh, bond. Of the ring, uniting as one, and even with that, right? You guys who are like trying to shame black women into getting involved with men, you're cheating yourselves. You have a wife, you have a beautiful, intelligent, hardworking, everything that matters, great mother,、uh, wife, and you, you don't want to spend time with her because you want to be running around. You're free, even when,、oh, you know what? I'm not even going to speak on it. I'm going to let these women, those women, I'm going to let them speak. I hate having children. Long story short, I hate being a parent. I hate what my life has become. I hate what I have become. I hate everything and everybody around me. By the way, those are not my words, not my sentiments. <laughs> I knew better, okay? So I did better. I was sold on the. So this is somebody, someone else's account that I'm reading. I was sold on the everybody loves their own kids nonsense, and just as I expected, I don't like my own kid. I spend as little time as possible with her because it is torture keeping a four-year-old happy. Now, as I say that, right? This is an aside. This is me, Dominic Della Pai. I'm saying about a four-year-old. I have a four-year-old、um, niece. She is delightful. She's beautiful. She's smart. She's thoughtful. She's sensitive. She's a sweet, sweet child. I love this child. I can see the cancerian, cancerian traits in her. She's she's very caring of her little brother, who is a Gemini. He doesn't give a shit about her. If she anything she has, he'll just snatch it from her. He'll just he'll he'll just hit her like. He's he's only a year younger than her. She's so much more evolved. So, um, anyway, back to this. So it's a torture keeping a four a four year old happy. Says this one. All day I only see the things my wife. Oh, that that's not a woman. Holy crap! It's even worse. This is a guy. This is a dude. He's not a man. He's not a man. But anyway. All day, I only see the things my wife and I could be doing if we didn't have a kid. You see, once they call a child a kid, there is contempt. I cannot stand to hear people call 
children, kids. They are not baby goats. They are not farm animals. But the way many of you treat them or, or think of them, yeah, I listen. I was around when I when I was a child. All of the、uh, the women who would leave their children for hours and even days, or just take off and leave the children there, walking around barefoot, you know, no clothes, just a t-shirt, boom boom, out exposed, big belly, hungry. I took care of those children. I always saw the children in need, and I took care of them. Okay, people are having children and don't want to be present to take care of them. So are they just stupid or are they just selfish? They just thought of themselves, right? They didn't consider what it would be like to have a child that you resent, that you hate, that you can't stand. What do you think it's like for the child to be receiving that very negative energy? She probably feeds into that and is projecting back onto you, Dad. Why,、oh, you Dad? Let's go further. Yeah, he says his wife. All day, I only see the things my wife and I could be doing if we didn't have a kid. The investments we could be making if we weren't spending money on daycare and bullshit kid expenses. The early retirement we had secured, but is now probably pushed out ten years because the kid came along. The great sex we could be having again if she wasn't so torn up from an incredibly long labor. The whole thing is just hellish. My life was on track until I was talked into a kid. Look at Terry here taking absolutely no responsibility. He was talked into a kid. Well, if you don't want a kid, don't marry a woman because there are women who want kids, not just a kid. They want kids because that's what society tells them. Which is why I value myself enough not to fall into that trap. You know, all you black males, especially because you're not men, asking repeatedly every day the same damn two questions you ask: why, are you, why are women single? And the second is, who should, who should get the plate first? You know, some kind of shit. Some African Americans they can't let that go. I don't know what the hell their background is, where they came from, how they were raised. But I'm a man. I'm the man of the house, and I have to be fed first. I, no, he didn't say fed first. He said, I need to be served my plate first. Give me my plate first. <laughs> Nobody can eat before me. Who are these? Who are they? Yeah, and then and then I see them eating. What what plates are they eating out of? Styrofoam. Oi! The whole thing is just hellish. My life was on track until I was talked into a kid. Now I feel like I'm drowning and nothing matters. I go to bed early, sleep in late, take half hour shits. <laughs> Look, I could take half-hour shits. I don't because I don't need to. I'm highly regular. I'm not constipated. I don't have to force it to come. It just comes, and I don't have to sit around and shit for too long. Besides, my shit don't stink anyway. But carrying on, this guy's he takes half-hour shits. It's not like his shit takes half an hour long. He's just pretending he's taking a shit. But that's it's like it's like the moms they they escape into the、uh, washroom. The kids and the cats still bug them anyway, but they're in there drinking wine. They're pretending they're doing laundry, but they're drinking wine. You know how many moms are bombed, dads too. But anyway, let's continue. So, I take half hour shits, all just to have a little time, <laughs> a little time to myself. So, is that why you want us to to not be single? Is that why you want us to get with one of you? You lamos, you want us to get with you so that, you know, I, I don't know why. What, what do you want? What do you want? <laughs> oh my God, he he wants he just to have a little time to himself. I'm not the type to cry, but I've sobbed about this on multiple occasions. I just can't take it. So the next silly black male who wants to ask black women. Why we are single, apart from your rejection of us, and the re reason why you reject us because you know you're not good enough for us. Am I right or wrong? Unless, if, of course, you're going for those types who are just like you, in which case you deserve each other, and you're going to get together and have babies that you don't even want and that you resent. As soon as they're born, you're already pissed off. Why did I have this kid? Because you didn't plan a child. You're probably just fucking like the. Wild animals that you are, yes, you're like rabbits, and you just fuck, 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 and then guess what happens when you fuck? 
unprotected. Kids! Bah, bah. <laughs> I don't know. I can't do boat sounds. I just did. I think that was sheep. So, I'm not the type to cry, but I've sobbed about this on multiple occasions. I just can't take it. This is a man speaking. Uh, oh, sorry. Pardon me. A male. A male. Also, it seems other people still love their kids. Even if they don't like being a parent. Our daughter is too smart for her own good. She's more condescending. <laughs> She's a four-year-old. <laughs> She's... She's more condescending and manipulative than most adults and well beyond her own appreciation. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's calling a four-year-old condescending and manipulative. Really? I'm sure it's possible, but you have to ask why is a four-year-old be? Yes, I've seen the children be manipulative, condescending. Come on. Come on. Wow. Wow. Oh man, that's, that's so sad. It's sad. She's a little psychopath and terrible to be around. I don't love or appreciate her. I just want to be away from her permanently. Interesting part is my wife feels the opposite and loves spending time with her. Well, thank goodness this child has a mother who loves her because her father can't stand her. He didn't use the word hate, but he said he don't love her. That's so sad. Now I understand why so many of you don't stick around with the woman when she's pregnant and sometimes before she even has the baby, y'all are gone. And yet there you keep, you keep bugging us like it's some kind of psychological, like you're doing some mind fuck with us when you keep saying, why are you single? Why are so many women single? Why are black women single? Every single day on social media, these silly black males are asking every day. Oh, if they're not asking that, they're also asking about Shouldn't I be served the plate first? Shouldn't the man of the house be served first? The dinner? Shouldn't the man be served? No, I said. I said, no. If there are children, not kids, we don't have goats at the dining table, right? We have children. We have children, so what are we eating? How are we eating? Whatever we're eating, the children are fed first, okay? Followed by, if there are seniors, elderly people, right? I know the elderly people get upset when I feed the children first. I don't give a shit. Because the elder people, they can get up and serve themselves, but they, 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 they're in a stage of life where they feel entitled to be served. I don't mind serving them, but I'm going to serve the children first. I don't want the children around the food, around the kitchen around the stove I'll do it I'll serve the children in fact I'll prepare the food okay I'll shop I'll prepare the food and I'll serve it so children first followed by seniors and then you man you eat and then I will feed myself right <laughs> anyway this whole thing is incredibly out of control how people can encourage others to become parents is confusing. And this is anonymously sent to this group that I am in. <laughs> if there are pauses, I'm stopping to sip my ginger tea. So, I hate having children. The phrase, I hate having children, sounds so bad. But what if you do? What if no matter how hard you try to enjoy it, you can't? Every single day I ask myself, why? Why did I do this to myself? I never wanted children. I decided that as a teenager. Then I dated a guy who was a bum. Got pregnant at 17 and didn't even realize I was pregnant for over half of the pregnancy because the birth control I was on eliminated my period. I decided to keep my child because, well, having an abortion wasn't an option. The doctor was trying to talk to me about my options. But my mother said, you're keeping it. And the doctor just shut up. I felt if I 
gave him up, I'd be judged harshly for it. My son ended up with ADHD and learning delays, and it has been a lot to take in. The father became a junkie and hasn't even been involved. I feel bad for thinking about giving the child away because I'm all they've ever had. I stayed single until my son was four and a half years old and I met a guy and we had two additional children. You see, she's not doing too well with this child. She meets a guy and they have two more children. These people are not thinking about the children. It took everything not to hide the pregnancies and get to the clinic. Every single day I struggle. I feel guilty and bad for never truly wanting them. They deserve better. I'm with the father of the two, but he's really no help when it comes to them. He pushed me to have the two children with him. The guys always do that. Ladies, women, girls, please don't allow this. Don't let some guy, because he's just giving you a dumb dick, don't, don't be so mesmerized. Don't be bamboozled because you will be left with the children in many cases. Okay? He pushed me to have the two kids with him. He talked daily about how he wanted a family. I was strict. Now here I am in a prison I shall never escape from. I enjoy nothing. If only someone would have told me the truth. If my own mother would have been less about herself and more about what was better for everyone, just maybe I'd feel some type of joy. Sometimes I think about running away from this harsh reality and how freeing it must be to just live your life for yourself like I do. I live my life for me and I love it. I love every minute of it. I embrace my solitude. Listen, if some dude, well, hopefully it will be a man, comes around and he measures up, that that's fine that'll be swell but i'm not counting on it banking on it thinking about it i don't care about it i'm so involved with me right i've been there with a guy i've had the best and i've had the worst and if he if the, the next that comes along is not as good as the best i've had next I w and i won't be again pursuing i don't pursue anyway so those of you who have some idea some notion of pursuing me please go and check my bio check me out see what i'm into you better have similar interests and don't like the last bozo pretend to be into what i'm into which is health and wellness and and many more like uh, gardening growing my own food you know um herbs um, learning about herbs healing with herbs eating herbs just so many you know, writing, performance art, on and on and on. I will even probably, I will go fishing with you, but I don't fish. While you're fishing, I will be reading or writing or wandering about. All right? <laughs> because fishing is smelly and meh. So, um, yeah. Uh, I, I just... Every time I see another guy ask women why they're alone, like it's a problem. It's like they're jealous or something. And they, because they can't be alone, you see. Listen, I love and embrace solitude. It's a bother when someone has to come over. Mind you, I, I don't know. If I greet the person and then I'm fine. I'm very cordial and chatty and friendly. And it depends on the person and the exchange of energy if it's an interesting person it's good and I enjoy that the visit but I don't miss I don't miss them if they don't show up I'm happy if they show up I'm happy like, it doesn't matter to me but for some reason I think you guys cannot be alone and you have a fear of being alone so when you see so many women alone you're afraid that they you will be rejected. I think that's what it is. Oh, you guys need to stop because every time you ask again, I'll I'll answer you again. Look at these women who are with getting together with guys. The first thing they do, boom, have a baby. They don't think, hey, let's buy a house. Let's start a business. Let's plant a garden. Let's go hunting. Let's go foraging. Let's find out about the local 
flora and fauna. You know, like, they don't do any. They just fucking have babies that they end up hating, resenting. It's disgusting. Sometimes I think about running away from this harsh reality and how freeing it must be to just live your life for yourself. I also think about how my mother was a flake and how badly that affected me as a child and how I don't want them to feel like that. I envy women who can't have children. I feel like that sounds bad, but I do. Hey, I can have children, but I choose not to. How about choosing not to have children? The reason why I choose not to have children, I am from a young, a teen mom. My mother had me very young and it was in the absence of her mother her mother wasn't present her mother had not been present from the time like my mom was not barely to about two years old is when her mother left and went overseas right and she left my the child my mom with the grandmother that's what many of these women do many of these black women they have the child and they leave the child with someone that's not acceptable no, you guys can fuck. And I know some of you are even raped. Some of you are raped. Some of you are molested. That's a different story. You get knocked up because some guy, some older guy, overpowered you or did whatever. He groomed you. And next thing you know, he's screwing you. And you think it's love. It's not because why? what you will find out. While he was screwing you, he was screwing how many other women in the village. And then when you give birth, you will find all these other women have babies with the same bozo. Just get smart, ladies. Get smart. These guys are not worthy. They're not. Demand that they step up, you know, and be better. Aspire higher. Don't fall for them. Listen, I've been there. I let a guy talk a lot of shit to me. I knew he wasn't on my level. We were not equally yoked. But I just, I felt, he, I was charmed. You see, also be aware of that. And many, you know, they call themselves witches and this and that. They call, I don't know, they call themselves alchemists, uh, this, that, and the other. They have labels and they're spiritualists and you know, they into the occult and they, you know, they do spells and rituals and blah blah blah. And they can get you, but they're not really. They're not. They just seriously. I don't want that type of connection. I want a true. I'm into the nature of things, not the manipulation of things. I don't want to be manipulated, conned, scammed. You know, it's like transgender women wanting to be called women. That's a scam. Sorry, you're a transgender woman, okay? I'll call you that, but I won't call you a woman. I'm a woman. I'm not a transgender woman. How come you guys don't harp on calling the trans men uh, men? You don't call them men. You call them trans men. Ah. Uh -huh interesting so um i'm gonna get one more story so i'm reading the ones that are not as lengthy it's the first i hate having children it's the first of january 2021 many years ago i would normally spend this day preparing planning and looking hopefully forward to the year ahead Instead, I'm sitting here with dread. Another year of this shit, I ask myself, and it will be. You see, he's already speaking into existence. See, he can change his outlook, change his thought process. But here he is saying, another year of this shit, I ask myself, and it will be. Well, duh, yeah, if you say so, because you're the one who has the power to change it, and you are a parent. And your child is not fortunate to have you as a father. I'm a 45-year-old guy. You see, he can't even say he's a man. I told y'all, these guys, these dudes, <laughs> these niggas, I believe this one is Caucasian. They can be niggas too, by the way. They're not men. A man will call himself a man. He will say, I'm a 45-year-old man. Instead, this one who is a parent he says, I'm a 45-year-old guy, married with two kids. <laughs> he has kids. He has baby goats. Who hates his life. I've read a lot of articles about women who regret having children, but much less about fathers. 
because guys are not really encouraged to speak on such matters, right? They hold it all in. Everything is bottled and then they blow. Then they explode and they're violent. I'm the primary care carer for our two kids. So I'm not correcting their errors. I'm just reading as they've written, okay? So I'm the primary carer for our two kids, which for me means from 5.30 a.m. when the first one gets up to 9.30 p.m. when the last one goes to bed, my life is about serving the needs of others. Listen, I, listen, I don't have children, but I serve the needs of others. Yes, I do. It's my part I have to play in my situation. And it works perfectly fine for me. I don't feel uh, imprisoned or bound. I'm very free. So, I don't know. My life is a melancholy trudge, hoping to get through each day. Although I once did, I no longer have plans. Although I once did, I no longer have plans, goals, or ambitions. Why would I? They never work now. There is never a plan that I can stick to. I can never commit myself to anything because every ounce of my time is taken up by my caregiving role. You see what I mean? He's essentially thrown his life away. He's choosing to have such a dialogue that is full of negativity. There was nothing positive that this guy has said about himself and his situation with the children that he chose to have. I knew even when I was young, I didn't want kids. But growing up in a family from Indian heritage, where the only life path is get an education, get married, have kids. I was told, in quotes, early on what the life path should be. I got married and my wife also wanted kids. We waited until a bit later in life and I secretly hoped we would have medical health reasons on why we couldn't conceive. Oh my goodness. He's cursing the womb. <clears throat> I couldn't bring myself to tell my wife and my family that this wasn't the path I wanted. Isn't that sad that in those cultures, you know, they have, you know, the history of the caste system and arranged marriages and they have their tradition and they're not even considering that the parties involved are not happy, that those, um, those decis decisions are made by family members, by parents and aunties and uncles, people who should not be having the last say in such arrangements. So, uh, I couldn't bring myself to tell my wife and family that this wasn't the path I wanted. And then the children came and my life disappeared. I love them and want them to have good and happy lives. Unfortunately, I don't have that myself anymore how sad i think i'm gonna do one more no yeah maybe i should stop here yeah i am domina della pai mistress sasha storm and this has been about <clears throat> well some men who were speaking on their regretting having chosen this path this route that is thrust upon them societally to be fathers providers and they want no part of it i'm going to do one from the mothers because there are many women there are more women with those um lamentations they're crying about it they, they hate their lives they hate their children and um, so i'm triggered i suppose when i see yet another black man asking women why are they single why are they single indeed? And then I'll say to them, why are there so many single mothers raising children alone? And another problem I have is the single mothers always ready to date, always quick to date and get the another, the next sucker, the next victim. I think that's a very bad practice women have of bringing the new guy, the boyfriend into the home where their children are and to meet the children before something is really solidified more than just penetration of genitalia okay thank you good night